In the early hours, the morning fog clung to the lighthouse like a shroud, casting an eerie glow over the scene. Detective Clara Fisher stood resolute in the lantern room, the scent of salt and damp would filling her lungs. Her eyes were drawn to a hidden compartment she had discovered behind a loose panel. Inside lay a collection of old maps, their edges frayed, and a series of coded messages that hinted at secrets long buried. Clara's mind raced as she meticulously documented each item, her gloved hands careful not to disturb the fragile paper. The atmosphere was tense, the air thick with mystery. The lighthouse, a silent sentinel, seemed to guard its secrets jealously. As Clara worked, the sound of footsteps echoed behind her, a reminder that she was not alone in this investigation. The case was unfolding, layer by layer, and Clara knew that each clue brought her closer to the truth. The stakes were high, and the weight of the secrets lurking in the shadows was palpable. The sound of footsteps echoed softly in the lighthouse, a reminder of the presence of others in this isolated place. Detective Clara Fisher turned to see Tommy Reed, a scrappy 12-year-old, standing hesitantly at the entrance. His eyes were wide with the weight of what he had witnessed. I saw someone near the lighthouse that night, detective, Tommy said, his voice barely above a whisper. They were acting strange, like they didn't want to be seen. Clara knelt to his level, her blue eyes steady and reassuring. Can you describe them? She asked gently. Tommy hesitated, his brow furrowing as he searched his memory. It was dark, but I think they wore a long coat, and they had a hat. The description was vague, yet it was a piece of the puzzle that Clara needed. The tension in the room was palpable as Clara processed this new information, her mind working through the possibilities. The investigation was gaining momentum, and every detail mattered. The door to the lantern room swung open with a creak, and Evelyn Mariner stepped in, her silver hair catching the light. Her presence was commanding, her tone sharp as she addressed Clara. What are you doing here, Clara? She demanded, suspicion lacing her words. Clara stood, maintaining her composure in the face of Evelyn's scrutiny. Just gathering information, Evelyn. You wouldn't happen to know anything about these maps, would you? She inquired, her voice calm yet probing. Evelyn's eyes narrowed, a flicker of animosity crossing her face. Those are just old relics. They mean nothing, she replied dismissively. But Clara noted the tension in Evelyn's posture, the way her eyes flickered with something unsaid. An anonymous warning had arrived that morning, urging Clara to cease her investigation. The stakes were rising, and Clara felt the weight of the secrets lurking in the shadows, waiting to be unveiled. The investigation was fraught with danger, but Clara was determined to see it through to the end.